changeup is outside, so fastball changeup to begin the game. Two balls, one strike on Quan. Lee. Three and one. He finished third last year for American League here at Coffin Stadium. And he begins the game with a walk. Balls from gap to gap. And then the infield, the airtight left side of the defense, led by Mike Elgar. Quan turns and he's hitters in the throw. It's an absolute cannon to third base. Michael Garcia slaps it. No balls, one strike on Naylor. Starting pit. Right side again. This time Massey is able to cut it off. Naylor is out and finished strong after that. Yeah, Ryan, I love seeing the, that zero. Calhoun. We saw a lot of him with. The Angels, that's where he spent. He's in the Dodgers before coming over to the Guardians. Nice save by Porter, and that saved a run. And Yeah, Logan Porter is known as a very good receiver and blocker in the minor leagues, just getting his third major. You know what I've noticed about Logan Porter in a small sample size, and you're talking about. Yeah, Rhino, Logan Porter has great hands, and I the infield. Fouled off of Calhoun's foot. Still three balls, three and two with a runner at third. And Calhoun takes a strike. So the leadoff, and Brady Singer has a scoreless first. Royals offense can put some wood on the ball. You're not going to get many strikeouts today. Uh, really rely heavily upon that sinker cutter combo, that split finger. Now Bobby Witt Jr. And he takes a low strike. Four hard hit balls. Down ball hit right to short. Cleveland's going to have to hurry and out and left and center respectively. And a couple former Gold Glovers in the Toronto area. Their Josh is the designated hitter. 0 and 1 on MJ Melendez. Quantrill gets the clock down to three. And that's low. One and two on MJ. These hits are going to come. And not only come, but come in bunches. We've seen that with MJ. But does it come? Hold to the right side. Jimenez down to second one. And Arias bobbled. One ball and no strikes. One. One ball, one strike. And during that at bat, Ryan, he did such a great job. Of Two balls, one strike. Yeah, and Jeremy Guthrie. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, and the other thing I really like. And he takes that pitch outside. Three balls, two strikes. Yeah. There goes MJ. Missed. Naylor down to Calhoun to complete the strike. Hitting exactly all the results he wants, but everything has been on. Specialist, which is part of protocol, the concussion specialist at 11 yesterday, and, and there were some symptoms there. As soon as he's symptom-free, they'll every single day. If that goes well, you keep increasing. More with the least amount of experience in Major League history. you got to <laughs> combine. Porter used his glove, and it was right in the center of the glove. You know, going back. Back in the central, but when the deadline came, they were sellers. And now Minnesota slowly strike out from Brady that two seam fastball running starting on the plate and two seam fastballs down in the zone. That runner trying to go back. Another hit against his hometown team. Well, again, that two seam fastball down in the zone. Will Brennan did a good job. It seems like every nailer. And he takes a strike. Yeah, two. Th One ball, one strike on Bo Naylor. Up and away, two balls, one strike. And talking about Brady. And up against the fence. Jimenez scores. Brennan Snarby, I double for Bo Naylor. Infield in. And Nick Prado comes way in. Now he's back eight. And Miles Straw takes inside. Two balls and no strikes. Anyway, going back to. And fastball in there, two and one. And so a team like Detroit, not known and work the other side of the strike zone. Two and two. Yeah, when you become predictable and the hitters to look in. 
Bells trying to get some forward momentum, but Straw gets a sacrifice fly to score. Stephen Kwan takes down and away. And one to use. Racing, and that allows Melendez to run it down. Full ships at sea, and we thank you for your service. Yep. One ball, one strike on Michael Massey in the second half after hitting four in the first half. I've got Bo Naylor. Michael Massey really settling into a big league career and, you know, 10 Michael Massey to get hot. Really turn things around right after that series in Cleveland. Reverse that. And then he said, he goes, but I also know if I get out, as it turns out, he did not have a good start this year. Not the way he wanted it. Waters checks his swing. He already has an outfield. Another check swing and catcher Naylor is at. That's sale. Two and one. Yeah, I like that approach right there from Prado. And barrel balls up while being more, a little bit more aggressive. And it's one of his strengths that he knows. This. Got him with a fastball up and away. He is an old school guy. I'm thinking, what are you thinking? Because mm -hmm. we were taught, hey, you be ready to hit the fastball, every splitter or slider, so I'm going to sit on it. And they end up taking that fastball right down the middle. And I don't think that's a good. Blocked by Naylor. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, and that was something that offers. Porter is down on strikes. That was a high splitter, but Quantrill got away. So leadoff walk. And a strike to Josh Nick. Line foul. No balls, two strikes. One ball, two strikes. And Naylor's getting more chances. He's running. Then misses. And Bobby, how about that pick and tag? It's late. And it's the 200th career stolen base for Jose Ramirez. Aim that we're wanting to say thank you to him. Father well, makes the catch and an out. It's the field. And it looks like trauma recovery is out on a fly ball to deep center. H. Ball one on Michael Garcia. 2 0. And now three balls, no strikes. We were talking about Quantrill's starts, but he's been slowly getting it back together after coming off the injured list. A second, 15 and 5 with a 3.3 ERA. Three balls, two. Comes off of his hand and then. Very casually of at the ball, which resulted in two bases for the Royals. Jose Abreu throwing his glove at the ball to keep it from going into right field. And Jeremy Guthrie.